Good morning. Happy Friday. Here comes Miss Star. Good morning. Happy Friday. Hey, Star. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. How has your week been? Good. Good. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. I love the warm weather. It's been so chilly and rainy. Yes. I'm really thankful for the weather. Me too. Yeah. So, Miss Joy, do you remember uh, last week? What what did we talk about? Our mm. story. The little lost oh sheep sheep the little lost sheep and the good shepherd was looking for his sheep yeah. and Jesus is our good shepherd and um, he'll always find us yeah that was a good story I like yeah that, that was one. a good one I like that story so this week we're gonna talk about oh what Miss Joette and you know what I brought these out. I'm gonna put these up on Pastor Mike's desk because he likes these Hershey Kisses yep he likes those. Oh, I love these are my favorite. Yeah, well, these are for Pastor Mike, so I'm going to take them up. Can I just have one? No, I'm oh. going to give them to Pastor Mike. It's just a few. I didn't have very many, and I know it's one of his favorites. So I'm going to put them up on his desk, and um, so he can have some later. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And actually, I have my Bible, but I have this really big picture book to help with our story today. I, I forgot to get it, so I'm going to go get it, Miss Joy. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. But these are for Pastor Mike. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Miss Joy, I found my book. Oh, God. Found my book. Oops. Okay. It's, um, we're going to talk about, Miss Joy, did you eat any of this candy? No. What? You all were here when I went to go get my book. Did Miss Joy eat some of this candy? Did she take candy? <gasps> she did? Joy. What? I asked you not to. No, I'm sorry. This is my favorite, and Pastor Mike doesn't care if I have one. I know, but you know what? You should ask Pastor Mike. I brought these for him, and I asked I asked you not to to take any. And, you know. I'm sorry. I I didn't eat it yet, though. Can I just put it back, and you, then you can forgive me? Yep. Uh, yep. You can put it back, and I'll, and it'll be fine. Okay. We'll all we'll be good. Oh, good job. Thanks, Miss Joy. Thank you for doing that. Sure. For doing that. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about someone in the Bible that God told to do something and they didn't want to. Ooh. In fact, they tried to run away. They tried to run away from God. They tried to run away from God. <laughs> we're going to see what happens when we don't listen. Okay. You know. Oh. So um, I'm going to give Miss Joy this book. And she can show the pictures to you while I am telling the story. Our, and the story is the story of Jonah. And actually, it is in the Bible. Um, <laughs> it's in the Bible in the Old Testament. Jonah has its own, his own book. Wow. Jonah. All right. So Jonah um, loved the Lord. And, he, and, and he, he wanted to tell people about the Lord. And so one day God said to Jonah, Jonah, I want you to go to the people of Nineveh and I want you to tell them that I love them and they need to stop doing the naughty things they're doing and living the way they're living. But Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. He didn't want to go tell the people of Nineveh about God. Why well, did he not like them? He did not like them. Oh. He thought they were very bad and they didn't listen and they shouldn't. He shouldn't have to. He shouldn't tell them about God because they were just so bad. But they really needed. They needed to hear yeah, about they the really Lord. Did. So instead of going to Nineveh like God asked him to, he ran away. Wow. He did. He ran away as fast as he could. He went to the a boat, a big ship that was going far, far, far away, and he thought he could run away from God. And Jonah didn't want God to find him. So he, when he got on the ship, he went down to the very bottom of the ship, and he laid down, and he fell fast asleep. Ooh. But a big storm blew up. 
And the sailors were afraid because it was rocking the boat like crazy and the winds were crazy and the water was way up and way down, up and down, knocking the boat all over the place. That would be scary. It was scary. So the sailors went down and they woke Jonah up and they said, Jonah, pray to your God and ask him to stop and make the storm go away. But Jonah knew that God had sent that storm and he knew why God sent that storm. Because mm -hmm. he hadn't been obedient. And he hadn't done what God asked him to do. So Jonah told the sailors, what do you think you told him to do? Um, hold on for your life, boys. We're in for a ride. <laughs> no, no, no. Jonah said, throw me overboard. What? Yep, throw me overboard because... Uh, me being on this ship is why God sent this storm. Uh, I'm not supposed to be here. Okay. But the sailors, did, they didn't want to. They didn't want to throw Jonah in the ocean. They said, if we throw you in the ocean, you're going to drown. And Jonah said, no, you got to throw me overboard. Mm -hmm. So they picked Jonah up, and they threw him into the ocean. Splash! Jonah ended up in the ocean. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. He began to sink into the cold, dark water. Deeper and deeper into the ocean he went. Ooh. But God saved Jonah. He sent a huge, giant fish, maybe kind of like a whale, we don't know, and the fish swallowed him. Oh, oh, oh. Swallowed him whole. And Jonah was in the belly of the big, giant fish. Miss Joy, you know how long he was in there? How long? Three days and three nights. Whoa, that's a long yes. time. Yes, yes. What do you think Jonah was doing while he was in the belly of that fish for three days and three nights? Mm -hmm. Crying. We... I want my mommy. I want my mommy. <laughs> I think I would be crying. I would. It was probably really icky and stinky and dark and Ugh. probably scary. Mm -hmm. But you know what he was doing? Jonah began to pray. Wow, that was smart. You think jo God could hear Jonah down in the way down in the bottom of the ocean in the belly of that big fish? Yep. God can hear us anywhere. We can pray whenever, wherever we are. Doesn't matter. And so he prayed and he prayed to God while he was in the belly of the fish. And you know what he did? He thanked God for saving him from drowning in the sea. Because if the fish hadn't come along and swallowed Jonah, he probably would have drowned in that big ocean. Yeah. And he told God, I will do what you want me to do. I'm going to do what you want me to do. And it's you know? Fair. Do you think like um, Jonah being in the belly of the whale was like a big time out time for him? Yeah, it was, a, to think? it was a real big time out. That mm -hmm. would be, oof, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was not fun. But... It helped Jonah realize mm -hmm. that God loved him. He saved him from the ocean, and he needed to do what God had asked him to do. Yeah. So you know what? God heard Jonah's prayer. He did hear him. And guess what happened? What? That fish spit Jonah out, psh, right out of his mouth. Ooh. Jonah landed on the dry land. He wasn't in the belly of the fish anymore. He wow. was out. Oh, what a relief. Ooh, that probably felt good to get out of there. It did feel good, I'm sure. And so he was so glad to be out of the fish and on dry land. And you know what Jonah did? What? He went right to Nineveh. He obeyed God. And he told the people in Nineveh, you need to believe in God. You need to be listening to what God wants you to do and mm -hmm. stop living, you know, being naughty yeah. and disobedient. And they listened. Wow. To everything Jonah said. And they believed in God. And they stopped doing the naughty bad things they were doing. And they began to believe in God and live a life that was pleasing to God. Which is what God had wanted Jonah to do in the first place. Yeah. You really. know? So sometimes when we're asked to do something, it might, just might not be something we want to do. It's true. Like, you know, God says in the Bible... It's one of the Ten Commandments. Children, obey your parents. Parents, And um, an example might be maybe your mom and or dad ask you to pick up your toys. Yeah. Maybe you don't feel like picking up your toys, but what do you do? 
well, if you do it, then you'll feel good that you listen to your parents because you obeyed them. Mm -hmm. But then if you don't do it, you might get your toys taken away for a little while. You might. You might have a time out. Yeah. yeah. You might have to sit on a chair or something like that. So, mm -hmm. or, and, and for any, any of us, whether you're a child or an adult, you know, when we know God has asked us to do something, we need to do it. And sometimes it might be kind of hard, like Jonah. Yeah. You might not want to uh, talk to that person. Maybe you don't think that person's very nice, but God wants us to tell people he loves them. Yeah. He wants to tell us, he wants us to live that every day. He wants us to show people that God loves them by being kind. Yes. Um, and, you know, when God asks us to do something, we need to trust him because he knows best. Right. And then we need to obey him. So we're going to trust God, and we're going to obey Him. Hey, that reminds me of another song. It you is a cute song? little chorus. You want to yes. sing it? Sure. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. I hope this week that you all remember how much God loves you, and to trust God, and then obey. That's the best way. And um, Miss Joy and I have thought about our story for next week. And it's going to be a little bit fun because we're going to go back in time a little bit. That's all I'm going to tell you, except for we're going to talk about being afraid. Mm -hmm. So remember, we'll see you next week. Yep. We love you and we're praying for you. Right. We'll love see you, you next Friday. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>